may have just wrapped up an extreme heat wave, but fall is just around the corner. And that means pumpkin patch season is nearly here. In tonight's Eye on Kettleland, how a Yankton family turned part of a family farm into a tourist attraction benefiting the whole community. This is our family farm. It's a century farm overall, We're going back to great-grandparents. They're still farming traditional crops, but a visit to a pumpkin patch in 2019 set the Nedved family on a mission to create something special with the corner of their property. In 2020, we opened up thinking it was going to be a hobby of ours. It's turned into not only a family affair, but also a job for the neighborhood, who've all spent plenty of hands-on hours creating this new fall festival destination. I have a hand in a lot of it and especially the first year or two was me and then I was coursing my brother and my dad to help me and Molly um, as well but as as we've kind of moved through the years I have a really handy neighbor who does carpentry um, and he's helped out a ton so he's inventive. This is our fourth year in existence. They've really built on to what they've had previously and always reinvent themselves and so it's super fun to know what they're doing this upcoming season. One of the questions we get no matter when and where we are at, what's new at the patch? What are you guys adding? From zip lines to giant swings, a corn pit, train slides and plenty of silo gazebos, Amazing Acres keeps adding to their list of family fun. About 30 different attractions for kids and adults alike. Um, everything from potato cannon to baseball and football toss to adult and child sized trikes, a bounce pillow. But their you pick pumpkin patch is one of their largest attractions where everyone can come and pick out the perfect size pumpkin to take home. We have about five acres of pumpkins out there and we take high rides around there and people can get out and pick their own pumpkins and it seems like the guests really enjoy that. The proof of their enjoyment comes in the growth Maisie Nakers has seen in their three seasons in business. We saw about eight or 9,000 people that first year, and every year it's grown a little bit since then, and we last year saw about 15,000 guests come through. While plenty of Yankton locals enjoy coming out to the patch. We can travel 10 miles outside of town rather than traveling an hour, an hour and a half, or to Omaha. Amazing Acres is also having a much wider draw for fall tourists. We're seeing lots of people coming from Nebraska, from Iowa, and then I think Overall, 70% is from South Dakota, and the other 30% is outside of South Dakota. I think it gives also Yankton another identity rather than just summer, you know, lake experience and stuff. So it brings them in in another beautiful part of our year in the fall. Helping to spread out the local tourism season a little longer for all area businesses. Certainly hope that when people are coming to visit us, they're also visiting other local attractions in Yankton. And providing some great part-time job opportunities for those looking for a little extra fun this fall. We have to hire about 30 or 40 staff. A lot of them are high school kids, um, which is great. It's a lot of them, it's their first time job. They're all gearing up for a busy festival season ahead where they hope to see even more new people come out and try the community's new favorite fall tradition. And it's fun to see the same families time and time again coming and making memories year after year with their family. Amazing Acres Fall Festival begins on Saturday, September 16th and will run every Saturday and Sunday until the weekend before Halloween.